So my number three is a movie, an Indian movie actually called Wake Up Sid from 2009. Quick logline on this movie. The story of a lazy Mumbai college student who does absolutely nothing. By the turn of events, will Sid realize his potential in this world and become a success in the fast-paced life of Mumbai? Starring Ranbir Kapoor, Kankana Sen, Supriya Pathak, a bunch of other people. So I picked this movie. I think a lot of, we've talked about this a lot on our mm-hmm. podcast that so much of the way movies land on us comes to when you watch them. Right. So I watched this movie 2009, which is sort of, you know, in my early years of moving to the US for grad school. So I'm definitely way older than the protagonist. But I think what really rung true with me about this movie, at least with my own experience, was about someone who is just not ready to leave home, even though somewhere deep down they know that this is coming and mm-hmm. it's something that they need slash desire or even want. Mm-hmm. but they're just not ready for it. And, you know, I don't fully relate to that aspect of not being ready for it. And as I'll explore that more and more as we go through, you know, all our movies or all of my movies, but, uh-huh. but there are definitely aspects of just not being ready. And I think this was really personified at, at both of my two big milestones of leaving home. Number one, when I left for grad school, I'd left, left lived with my parents until that point, you mm-hmm. know, I was very used to, being taken care of and even pampered. I, you know, I come from a very loving family where my parents in many ways were also my friends and I had friends outside of them, but you know, we are very much part of sort of our own little bubble. So leaving home to then go to undergrad, meeting all these new people, making new friends, but also just the admin administrative stuff of life of, you know, how do you do simple things like getting a driver's license to mm-hmm. where do you get, you know, groceries from? How do you cook? How do you open a bank account? All the stuff around sort of growing up. I was, I feel like I was very naive and unfamiliar. I, I, I always kind of envied kids around me who just seemed smarter, you know, on the street. <laughs> oh, I see. Like I see. They knew smart how to do, way. They knew how to yeah. cook an egg or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or sort of get it on life versus, you know, I spend more of my time like watching movies and thinking about life and sort of bigger questions and relationships. Uh, I wasn't very good with money management or kind of, you know, the wherewithal of life. And I feel like this movie really captures that when the main character sort of ends up leaving home not for reasons that I left home because, uh, you know, there's a lot of other stuff happening in the movie. But right. when this main character is living with this girl in this apartment and how messy he is, he has no oh, idea yeah. <laughs> what the structure of the day even means because he's had, you know, help at home taking care of him, waking him up, mm-hmm. you know, getting breakfast ready for him. His mom is kind of, you know, coddling him as if he was six, you know. Right, so. Right. I didn't have, you know, a shock of to that degree, but I definitely relate to my own incapacities of sort of <laughs> being frazzled by, yeah. you know, figuring out how to be alone and 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 the admin stuff is one side, but also emotionally because I was so dependent, if you will, you know, hopefully in a positive way on just sort of, you know, being with my family. That sort of being rooted out of that and mm-hmm. plucked and planted somewhere else was, was very hard uh, for sure. Um, so I think I, I relate with that and I, with this movie and then what this movie does a great job in uh, off is juxtaposing this character's journey of sort of fumbling and figuring out how to be yourself and how to grow up with the lead woman character who's, who's already gone through those trials and tribulations and is, right. you know, years ahead of him in terms of, actually wanting to be in a new city, Mm -hmm. um, exploring life, you know, being on her own, having her own independence and freedom. So I just love that juxtaposition and how, you know, ultimately the movie is about discovering your own passions, discovering who you are. Uh, It's about the changing nature of friendships and relationships, even with your parents, as you leave home, the people who've been a part of your life up to that point, they may or may not be, or if they still are part of your life, it might be in a different way. And we see that with this character and his mm-hmm. friends, especially one of his guy friends, they sort of hung out and been with each other. But, you know, a lot happens when you leave home and suddenly you, you want 
different things from the people who've been in your life. And sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't. And that changes how you view them. So I think it captures so much of that. Um, I just think the movie, even though it's a, it's a Bollywood film, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's heightened in many ways and maybe even cheesy in many ways and corny, but there is something real. And I think part of it has to do with the performances we talk a lot about getting transported. I didn't, I've never been to Mumbai other than like maybe one evening as part oh, of okay. the over, even uh-huh. though I, you know, grew up in India and such, but I feel like I got a good taste of what life looks like in Mumbai mm-hmm. uh, of sort of, you know, whether it's being out and sort of driving around and taking local transportation to the club scene and, you know, th- these different stratas of society. If you have a little bit more money versus not, where do you live? I don't know any of those places, but I think the movie really does a good job in transporting you and putting you in, in the shoes of the characters. So, yeah, whenever I think of leaving home, I always think of this character and, and how inept he was. And, and <laughs> there's something, I don't know, now heartwarming and funny about it, but yeah. at the time it wasn't. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my number three, Wake Up Sid. Yeah, and just to clarify then for listeners who have have seen this film or if you go off and watch this film uh, later, you relate to this character more of his emotional journey or did you actually not know how to fold your clothes when you lived alone? I just want to make sure that's clear. Or (laughs) could you cook an egg? Did you know how to cook an egg? Or if not, that's fine. I'm not, no judgment. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't know how to cook an egg, which is so crazy because the people who know me now, I am the sort of foodie person. Yeah. uh, You know, who's you're a great cook. I've had meals you've cooked and it's been fantastic. I never I never would have guessed that you didn't like grow up having, you know, known how to cook an egg. (laughs) Nothing. I mean I mean I I couldn't even make coffee. Like I I had like this I don't know if this was there in the US, but a lot of kids in living in dorms and such had these like little heating emulsion rods that you Uh. basically put in a cup to heat water to make tea or coffee. Yeah. I can't tell you the number of rods I burnt or number of like <laughs> glasses or cups I completely ruined because I couldn't even do that. So yeah, yeah. completely inept. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I, I had never seen this film before or heard of it, um, but yeah. uh, I, I enjoyed watching it. I thought it was really fun. I think all of the things you mentioned uh, too about leaving home, you know, I related a little more to uh, Aisha, the the female character um, in terms of going, getting mm-hmm. your own apartment, you know, painting the, like getting an apartment that kind of sucks. Like my first apartment that I moved into with some friends after uh, freshman year of college, we had to paint the whole thing, uh, kind of make it look nice. Cause it was kind of a dumb the fun montage in the movie too. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I was like, Oh, I yeah. remember doing this. And it's like, Oh wow. Yeah. It's like, now you're off on your own and you know, you do have to rely on, folding your own clothes, doing your own laundry, cooking your own food, uh, which are things that I had done a little bit of, um, you know, before leaving home. So I I didn't necessarily feel that I, you know, didn't necessarily know how to do it, but I didn't have to do it. Uh, But then you're in this situation now where you do now have to do it. Um, So I, I definitely related a lot with, with her and that need that she had too. I think of, you know, they didn't get into her background too much, but it seemed like she wanted to leave, um, I'm trying to remember where she grew up. Uh, Calcutta. Calcutta, right. She left Calcutta. And I think just because she wanted to go off and uh, mm-hmm. it, pursue this career that she, I guess, felt she couldn't, you know, be a writer in Calcutta or just wanted to experience life in, in a new way. And those are a lot of things that I related to, too, about my uh, leaving where I grew up to then go off to college. It was, it was a lot of uh, those similar those similar things. So, yeah, I thought this movie was really fun um, and had that great juxtaposition between someone who was just, yeah, like so lazy. Um, but endearing, not in a way that was like annoying. It's like, oh, I get where this guy's coming yeah. from. Cause there is that point in your life too, where you're just like, I don't really know what to do. Um, you know, he's given a job. It's like, oh, go work for your dad. It's like, well, I don't really want to do that. So then that's why he's not trying. It's not that he's a yeah. slob or a, you know, someone who isn't smart. Um, he just isn't yeah. passionate about anything because it had to be right. He, everything was handed to him up until that exactly. point. Um, and then when he finds his passion in photography, like that's when he like then becomes the adult. Um, and self-sufficient because he has something to strive for. And, and that's what I liked about this film too. You got to see his journey of like, yeah. well, it wasn't that he was a bad person. Um, it's no. just that he had nothing to try. Like, why would he try? Why would he leave home? Why would, why he, would he, why would he try? He just doesn't care. He doesn't want to work for his dad's shower company. Um, no. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th- I thought it was fun. What, when, and then, uh, you know, it's obviously there's a romance there too, where um, s- spoilers, like they, they get together in the end. The, the, the one thing that I thought yeah. was a little odd and, and I just wanted to ask, you about like is this a norm in in these in these films is you know there's a big 
scene at the end where, you know, it's a will they, won't they kind of relationship. And then, you know, he kind of runs to her. I think it's even in the rain, you know, classic mm-hmm. kind of situation. And then they basically both profess their love for one another. And then they hug. Yeah. There's no kiss. Is that like, <laughs> I thought that was like, kiss her, dude. Come on. I know. Is that a normal thing in just these films to not have a, a kiss is like too much? Yeah, especially back then. I mean, I honestly have not kept up with Bollywood films since this time. This might be one of the last Bollywood movies that I remember watching and pouring over and thinking about. And ever since, you know, when I am in India, I'll probably watch whatever is sort of, you know, the big blockbuster or what have you. But but yeah, at that time, uh, this was not the case. Like you wouldn't see the leads kissing which i i do think has changed quite a bit now so okay if this movie were made now you would see it okay okay yeah i just that was surprised and then i was like oh well it's probably like so you know again like a cultural thing in in this film that it wasn't you know something they did at the time but that was like oh well this is it's like i wanted this big status like hollywood quote-unquote hollywood ending and that involves like at least a kiss and they just (laughs) hugged each other like and then he stopped hugging her and looked at her again and then hugged again i was like oh oh okay so this must be something that they were so i just wanted to to verify that but no is is the kiss is the kiss okay (laughs) especially the second hug is what really says it okay 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 yeah no it was it was fun um and for listeners this movie's on netflix so it's you know at least right now i mean as of this recording it's available to stream it's uh it's yeah it's a fun sort of like coming of age romantic film uh that i definitely recommend checking out I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, the thing that's sort of another cultural thing, which I was hoping that you might pick up on as well, because it stood out to me, which is that he just moves back with his parents. Like that's sort of also part of the arc Mm. that, oh, now that I found myself, my passion, Mm -hmm. and I've also confessed my love and Mm -hmm. I have somebody, but guess what? I'm going to move back home Uh, because it's what happens in India. You know, if you are an unmarried you know, 20 something, you live with your parents until you're married. Um, Unless a different situation arises where you're living with other roommates, for example, Mm -hmm. and and people do that, you know, they'll rent out a flat, but he doesn't seem to have that situation with his friends either. So I thought that was sort of interesting and kind of cultural because, you know, if this movie were made here, the arc would not be, oh, he's moving back home. The arc no. would be, okay, he moves out completely for real. Mm-hmm. Um, doesn't need some, you know, mango supplies from his mother or, <laughs> you know, a little change here, a little change there. Like he can just live on his own, whether with the girlfriend or not, right, different right. thing. Uh, so I, I thought that was that was interesting. And I, I wondered if this movie was made in India even now, would that change? Will they... You know, because the society has changed and progressed in so many different ways and since the time this movie is, was made. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, totally. Actually, to be honest, I that would have seemed something that I would have wanted to brought up. But I, I can't remember which episode it was we just recently recorded where you did say that yeah. it's normal to have. Yeah. So I kind of knew that going in. So I've been educated by you already not to be yeah. like, oh, OK, this this makes sense. But you're right. If this was movie was remade in the States, there would definitely be a roommate character that this guy right. would have who would probably be even like more of a slob or maybe he'd be like a the neat freak that would always like pr- be prodding him to along with the girl but i think that the 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 prodding that he got from his his parents um i think and especially the mom character would probably mm-hmm. have been done through a best friend um mm-hmm. and not so if this was done in america so yeah that was definitely mm-hmm. something i i picked up on too but you know you already had educated me enough so i kind of was like okay this makes sense of course he's gonna move back home he's not getting <laughs> married yet but the the kiss was was a new thing so now i'll know the next time you have a bollywood movie now you know I, that I, I won't expect any kissing and and be disappointed <laughs> in the lack of some kissing so. <laughs> yeah I do love how their their romance also develops, you know, yeah. how she uh-huh. sort of sees him as a boy, which he is and totally. is actually, you know, has eyes for other people who are more worldly, more cultured, and then realizes through that, that actually, that's not what I really want. The things right. I really care about are different, you know, somebody who's passionate and actually tries and works and is committed, you know, and those qualities. So it's not, I wouldn't call this uh, like a rom-com in the traditional way. Like the romance part is not the focus of the movie. No, but I no. thought that that detail is very interesting and quite relatable. Like how, you know, you imagine things uh, about people that you want to be with, but that often is not the case. Oh, oh totally. And in a way too, I feel that, um, you know, she she gets this internship in a magazine, but she wants to be a writer. And I, mm-hmm. I, I at least read this as like his kind of like, 
YOLO attitude of like, who cares? Just kind of do it inspired her to just, you know, yeah. to write and put and push an article on her, her boss. Who's like the editor. I think she's an assistant. Mm-hmm. She's like, Hey, I wrote this. Like, so in a way I feel like his laziness or not laziness, but his aimlessness and devil may care nonchalant attitude, nonchalant list, yeah. I think inspired her to take a chance on something she might've been too afraid to do because of the afraid of failure. And clearly like yeah. Sid didn't care about failing because all he was doing was failing. It wasn't bothering him. Um, no, so exactly. I think they worked, they worked well off one another um, as well in the film, which yeah, again, found very, uh, very enjoyable. Hey there, it's Alex. If you like the review and discussion Kron and I just had, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Movies That Shaped Us, to get full episodes. Every other Wednesday, Karan and I cover a topic around important people, places, events, and moments in our lives, and then explore it through three of our favorite movies. Subscribe right now or follow our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts via the link in the description below. Hope you join us for the journey.